Well, I know he's not one of your favorite people, Speed Manson. I tell you, Liz, you know, usually he has lots to say I about nothing. Got a lot and to uh, say about a lot of things, and I wish you'd just be quiet, go listen to some punk rock or something, man, because, you know, I own the contract of Tojo Yomolo and Gypsy Joe. You know, Steve Cooper, hey, man, too bad. I don't really care what happens to you. I don't even care about you, man, because all I care about is making some money, man, and that's exactly what I'm going to do with Tojo Yamamoto and Gypsy Joe, the former uh, U.S. Tag that's Team right. Champion. Yeah. Well, you don't worry about Team that, Champions. Bart, man, because they will have them belts again, man. Don't you worry about it. And another thing I like to talk about is the macho man Randy Savage. Uh, I hear you might be looking for a partner, man. Well, you know, you can't get no better than me, man. So, Savage, if you want the best, you just come to Speed Manson. Because let me tell you something, Bart. That team, you and your other little punk rock friend, Johnny Wilhoy, you'd have a lot of trouble with Speed Manson and the macho man, Randy Savage. Now we're going to take a look at an update on Steve Cooper's condition. in Vanceburg, Kentucky, this rarely thought about consequence became a life-threatening reality to Steve Cooper. While wrestling big 300-pound powerlifting champion Mike Doggendorf, Steve Cooper sustained an injury severe enough to end his wrestling career. Dr. Nissen, could you tell us Mr. Cooper's current physical status? Well, Steve uh, is currently recovering slowly after approximately a month in a UK a hospital from a massive heart attack that he suffered uh, uh, we believe as a result of the blow that he sustained to his chest during the wrestling match in Vanceburg. Uh, when he came to us uh, about a month ago, uh, we, uh, he had uh, signs and symptoms of a massive heart attack. His blood pressure was virtually unobtainable, and for the first eight days of his hospitalization, he required a mechanical heart assist device called an intraortic balloon pump to support his blood pressure. Uh, Steve has been extremely ill. He developed renal failure requiring kidney dialysis for approximately a week from which he's now recovering. Uh, at this point, uh, he's approaching the ability to go home having survived an, an illness which few people really live to tell about. Do you feel that Mr. Cooper's physical condition that is necessary to be an athlete had an effect on his recovery? I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, it's very unusual to see a 33-year-old man with a, a massive heart attack. In his case, because uh, we believe the heart damage was sustained from a blow suffered in an athletic match, uh, he represented a really very different type of heart attack from what we usually see. Uh, I think that an older person in less good physical condition almost certainly would not have survived what Steve was able to survive. Uh, as it is, he's lost uh, 25 or 30 pounds, but for someone of his size and physical shape, uh, he still uh, maintained pretty good muscle mass. Uh, other older people who are not athletes would have had a much more difficult time sustaining themselves during the month that he was so ill. Dr. Nissen, with the recent rash of injuries and deaths in professional wrestling and boxing, what measures do you think as a doctor could be taken to prevent this? That's a difficult question to answer. Uh, people, you know, want sports events. They like sports events in which there's uh, physical combat between individuals, but there are clearly risks associated with it. Wrestlers like Steve Cooper go into the ring, unlike boxers with boxing gloves and a lot of protective uh, environment, they're really quite unprotected. And I think uh, what happened to Mr. Cooper illustrates some of the dangers of the sport. I don't think people are going to change their desire to see this kind of competition. And I really don't know any way that we can protect athletes any better given the, the fact that the sport itself is a violent one. It was three years ago that Steve Cooper began his career as a professional wrestler. These were three years filled with chaos and controversy. Cooper started his career as the manager of the ICW World Heavyweight Champion, Randy Macho Man Savage. After being terminated as Savage's manager, Cooper went on to manage other top wrestling stars and also compete in the ring himself. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the University of Kentucky Medical Center with Steve Cooper, who's recovering from a massive heart attack. Steve, how are you? Well, mentally I'm uh, a lot better, and physically I'm coming along pretty good. As you can notice, uh, one of the results of, of the injuries is my voice. I've lost part of my voice, too. But in the last week, I've had a lot of time to sit back and reflect on my career. And I've done a lot of things that I'm not very proud of. I've been associated with a lot of people that I'm not very proud of. One of the things was I used to manage Randy Savage. And of course I was used by Savage and I used Savage too. I mean, I was successful. But uh, I can remember when we injured or I mentioned when we broke Wee Willie. He, we had his back broken, and I was part of that. And uh, I can also remember taking part in several other incidents that caused people injuries, like the, the Patton boy. Now my career is over, and I'm really surprised that the fans have been riding in and supporting me at this point. And I think I've reached an attitude change. Uh, I just I just don't know if uh, you know my career is over at this point. Do you have any future plans in mind? Uh, no, not with wrestling. I won't turn to any kind of athletic endeavors. Uh, I'll have to go into permanent retirement. But because of this permanent retirement, I would like to hear apologize to all my fans or, you know I didn't really think that they cared and uh, just apologize to Brad Patton Wee Willie and all the other wrestlers that I've had to, to deal with and help uh, I mean, it's a pretty bad thing when you break a back of a midget and to be associated with it. I'm, I have, I'm not proud of some of the things I've did, and I think I'm paying for it and in the hardest way. And I just want to uh, apologize to all the people for the things that I've done. How do you feel about the dog, Mike Dogendorf? Well, with Mike Dogendorf, I hold no grudges because I entered the ring with Dogendorf to cause him bodily harm. And of course it, it turned out the other way. Mike Dogendorf uh, has a great future in wrestling and I would like to make a prediction that he will be the man to stop Randy Savage and become the next world champion. Through the years, Steve Cooper's past and personal life have been shrouded in secrecy. However Cloudy Cooper's life outside of the ring has been, his life inside the square circle is suddenly over. One can only hope that somewhere in the future, Steve Cooper will find his salvation.